Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to get into MIMO and why this is important to note and uh, why you should know this for getting a new router. And this could be for mesh networks or regular Wi-Fi routers. Um, notes for mesh networks, this is a very common thing to have uh, due to the nature. If you want to know about mesh networks, I've got videos on that out of both ends. So as far as that goes, um, MIMO that is multi-in, multi-out. And um, I'm going to be using this as an example because it's really good. Uh, there's no way I can compete with this. So let's use the uh, what's already out there for the public. So um, as far as things goes, multi-in, multi-out. Um, and, and then you got... MU and SU, MU is um, multi-users, uh, SU is single user, the over here is a single user. Basically what happens here is you got um, like, like the normal thing where where it goes down the list, it tosses the first one and goes down the list to two, three, four, and it goes back to one. And it doesn't mean that the they're, they're all streaming. Basically it's just seeing if it's there. So let's say that they're fairly idle it's just you know the the wi-fi is still there but it's idle basically what would end up happening is the access points or the uh, home wi-fi router which has an access point into it it uh will communicate to each device and see if it's still there that way it knows to keep the ip address association or should it drop the ip address because there is a limited amount of devices that can connect to the router and uh, it's fairly important to note, say, um, um, do I get any free spaces and let's drop some of these devices to so we can actually, you know, free some space. Because keep in mind, let's say if that device it uh, disconnects and tomorrow it reconnects, well, now it will say that you got five devices and since it's not checking all the time. So um, with the, uh, the, the MU, Basically, what happens here is this is a 4x4, four four, and that basically means that we're, instead of talking to one device at a time, this talks to four devices at a time, and this is fairly important. Because uh, this talk to one device at a time, this, uh, let's say one of them is like a uh, slow phone or slow IP camera or something like that, that slows down the entire network for that so just note that whereas the uh this technically doesn't so what happens here is um is since we got a four by four say we'll talk to four devices at a time now the um as far as things go let's just imagine this is a two by two so take away two of these connections. Keep, keep the phones, but take away two of the connections. So it will only talk to two at the same time. Uh, it will still have to do this little thing. Now, let's say that just hypothetical reasons, and keep in mind realistically, it'll be in um, milliseconds uh, for it to talk to one of us. But um, let's just say hypothetical reasons. Uh, for it to talk to these four phones, it, each phone is one second, so one, two, three, four. And um, b what would end up happening is by using this method, it takes about, f for, for this phone to talk, um, then it goes to the next. For it to hear anything back, it uh, will take four seconds. Well, let's say that this is a two by two. Um, basically, what would end up happening is the... Um, It'll be just one second because um, it, it talks to these two, then it goes talks to these two, then it goes back up here and talks to these two. So it quickens it up by a massive, massive, massive amount. Now, where the um, MU comes in, this is uh, fairly important. Where, where, where the stuff comes in, and my MO. ABC one two three. Where where it comes in is basically some devices have the ability to allow this. Uh, basically, th there's a study of I think about six thousand some odd devices, 
And um, and basically, uh, what was and this is between Android phones, iPads, computers, and other things. Fifty percent of the devices um, has a one by one, and and notes that uh, four by four just means they get four devices. Uh, one by one is uh, it just it's it's this basically, um, but. 30% of those devices had a 2x2 two two and 20% and, uh, uh, had a 3x3. A, uh, three three. Well, here's the thing. Here's the kicker. So, um, if you have the ability on a phone, so like the 2x2 two two and 3x3, three three, basically what that means is, let's say that uh, two of these phones are out and, and the and the other two is the two by two enabled. Well, basically, what what ends up happening is since these two phones are not existing, just in your mind, just imagine that. Well, the other two, th those channels that could be used because it's a four by four device. Well, basically, they are not being used and it's waste. So, if these phones are um, two by two enabled. Basically, what would end up happening is the access point. It will um, the the phone will tell the access point, "Hey, I'm two by two enabled." So, what would end up happening is it'll associate one of these tracks to one phone and the other track to another phone. So, both phones have two tracks, and um, th this actually increases the overall speeds and stuff up to a point. Uh, so, so um, a common analogy some network developers use is uh, basically this is like sucking on a uh, straw every few seconds, you know, and something like this uh, is like sucking on a straw, one straw is continuously, but when you just add the extra track, that's like putting two straws and your drink quickly goes down. Physics is a bitch and that says that's completely false the analogy is just stupid you only have so much vacuum power and given that the straw is wide enough or you got enough i mean eventually gets to the point where you, you know you're only going to be able to suck up so much and uh, you can put 500 straws there and most likely your your max is probably at i don't know two or three and I don't know, whatever it might be, depending on the size of the straw. And, um, and basically, you know, it's whatever. But but as far as um, this purpose, basically all, all, all it means is these extra tracks, it speeds it up by a tremendous amount. Um, now, as far as things goes for devices, it's best to look at a spec sheet. So you get sites like this that actually does a teardown on devices. And... And I'm, I'm, I'm going back and forth between the uh, Google Wi-Fi and, and this uh, Unify. Um, I, I might end up just going with Google Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm going back and forth and probably make a video on it. But basically, um, what Google Wi-Fi is, um, it, it, with the mesh network and whatever, it is a 2x2. Two two. It's a 2x2 two two, um, multi-user. Um, I, I don't know if the... And, and this is important to note. Um, even though that this says multi-user, uh, even though it says this, I don't know if that's enabled. There is a chance that it's not. There's a chance on some products the company has it where it can do it, but it's just not enabled. Uh, now, uh, from from what I'm able to gather. This is actually enabled. Uh, some people actually has the ability to test this crap out, and, and did test it out on a very you know specific level. I think it was here or somewhere else. They uh, they found it actually does use it. Um, the average person wouldn't be able to test it out. They probably won't even notice a difference. But as far as that goes, it's it's fairly important to note that hardly any device actually uses this. Um, so it's just very important to note with that, but even even still, that this is um, you know what what you'll see in a spec sheet is something here, where if you look at a two point four gigahertz radio, 
you'll see a um, you know times two or right here is a two by two two times or two uh, two by two and um, so it's like if it's a three uh, or say three by three or four by four and all that means is basically uh, it's um, antennas and 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 the um, hardware ability to do it and, and software to, if it if it allows it's on the software side but um for this uh, it basically has a two by two for the five gigahertz and a two by two for the 2.4 gigahertz so basically um it's this uh subtracted by these two now the interesting thing with the unify is even though it says four by four the advanced versions of the stuff it tends to be the uh, four by four uh, the mesh network stuff that I'm looking at is uh, two by two. The the uh, ones I can afford is uh, two by two. Uh, so <laughs> that's why I'm not sure which one I go want to go to. There's not too much difference between the two. The more I'm looking at it, so um, besides price, but um, as far as that goes, that's just something to note. Um, again, this is just something that you want to note. Uh, most devices don't use the, um, you know, you only got so many devices that is a 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, whatever. But um, the fact is, is um, you would actually need to note that it, it has this type of ability for some mesh network. Why? Well, for a mesh network, basically what, what happens is, uh, if, if you don't know what a mesh network is, I got plenty of videos on it, but basically what it says is how many um, uh, uh, access points it's able to talk to at, at a single point of time. Uh, so e even if it's not talking to any actual device besides other access points, how many of those other access points is it able to talk to at one point? So if you're doing like a shopping mall or something like that, or, or something, a very large area, uh, there's a fairly good chance that one of the access points are not going to be used hardly ever. Uh, but it can be in a very critical point where you can have, have three or four access points go through it almost simultaneously almost all the time. So it's 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 um, useful in that aspect to note that on an enterprise level. For home, I say if it's a... Um, Three by three, great. If it's a two by two, it's good enough. Honestly, again, most devices simply are not above two by twos, and and even at that, m most devices are one by one, which you ain't gonna be able to use. It. And and many network engineers will tell you that uh, the, the some of this is is worthless. Like with um, this, a lot of people will tell you it's on the downlink and um, and. With that, it, it's it's worth it. The device has to have the ability and stuff like that. So, for that, I wouldn't pay too much attention to it. Uh, but when you're buying it, you need to keep that in the back of your mind. So uh, that could be the, maybe the breaking thing of you buying one device versus another. So as far as that goes, um, if you got any questions, anything else, then uh, feel free to let me know, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible in the comment section or wherever else. And uh, feel free to email me if you want to keep it private and whatever. Just uh, let me know if you're okay with me to show your name, whatever. But anyways, as far as that goes, uh, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.